Well, once again, here we're coming from Dale's workshop. I've, been, I've had these little screwdrivers and a couple of awls here. This is a little Craftsman. It's a little snap on. I'm not really sure about this one. It looks like it's a little different here. I'm not sure it was an, always an awl. It may have at one time been a screwdriver. It is now an awl. Uh, I'll check the part number and kind of see what it was. It's Snap-on, part number SSDP31, USA number one. Anyway, then the Craftsman is, says it's a Scranton all 41028 G W F USA. I've already screwed up on this one. I got too close to the uh, wire brush. I'll just have to deal with that. Some people call these pokey things, which is quite appropriate. I've not done any of these restorations before, so I've watched uh, Scout Crafter and and 357 Magdad. I've and and Big Vic. They've all cleaned up these uh, pretty well. So that's what I'm going to attempt to do: make these things look like new. I tried scraping this one. It, uh, it didn't scrape very well, so I will just use sandpaper on this one. Yeah. Wish me luck on that. So anyway, that's what uh, today's restoration is going to be about. So let's get started. So we're starting off with a cleanup. This is simple green. Already it looks better. Not a simple green, it's about 50-50 uh, water and simple green. Didn't change that one a whole lot. Well, I took some of the dirt off. Now, it looks like it was originally uh, had some red on it here. If any of you know actually what the what this is called or what the brand name is. Or maybe it's not even one at all. Maybe it's just a, a no-name screwdriver. Looks a little better. Got some of the dirt off of it. I mean, you let this dry up a little bit, and we'll see what we can do about getting this thing cleaned up a little bit more. Well, I think I'll do the rest of that with the Dremel, but that got all the rust off good. A little bit of shine. You can, the more I look at this, you can see right there is where they used the grinding wheel on it prior to, so I'm thinking this was a screwdriver before in its previous life. I will do a little research and see. <clears throat> well, this one, you can see there's a little pitting on there. But I think I can get that out. Well, this is 600 grit. Let's see, uh, see what it does. Give it a little water. Now this one right here has got some real deep scratches in it. Let's see if we can get them off. Well, it got 90% of those scratches out. Might need to do it again a little bit later. You 
can see right there there's a gouge or a cut and it kind of goes all the way down on the end there I'm going to fill that with epoxy and then smooth it over let's see how well this one looks did pretty good on the snap on that looks pretty nice we have got to do a little more right up here other than that I'm happy with it Now I'm happy with it. I'm going to see what some flits can do on this. I think this one's done. Really hated about that though, but yeah, you live and learn. Okay, it's going to take me a little longer on a screwdriver, but I think this one's basically done. I'm going to polish it up some more once this uh, epoxy dries and get that all squared away. But I think this one's going to be about ready too. I've said it before, but just now when I was doing the Dremel with this little wire brush on here, the thing was throwing those little wire slivers and it was bouncing off of my glasses. So just for your own safety, anytime you use a wire wheel or brush on stuff, wear your safety glasses. It'll save you a lot of headache. As Norm would say, these here safety glasses. Well, at least I found out how to get that off, so at least off the wood. Now I get a get it sanded real good, put a finish on it, and slide it back on. Well, I got me a mixture of 50-50 water and bleach here. So we're gonna see how that works. Well, I soaked this thing overnight in um, bleach, and so this is how it turned out. I really like, I mean, it is lighter, but I kind of like how the uh, the black shows through, you know, with the grain. But I think I'm going to sand this down. I may put some more stain on it. We'll see, maybe some ebony or whatever. But this right here, the bleach did cause that to rust a little bit, so I'll clean that up and uh, put this thing back together. But I think now, I'm kind of glad it happened like this because I really like the way that looks. And I may just uh, put a finish on that and just leave it like it is.
okay. The uh, this part had rusted because of the bleach, so now I'm gonna cut that taken care of. Got all the bleach rust off of it. Now I'm gonna polish it again. Kind of messed up my shine. So we got the flits out, or the, so we'll see what it does. Well, it brought back that shine. Now let's check this out. Well, that's pretty good. Now, you got to figure out exactly what I want to do with this. Well, this, uh, as I, I kind of suspected in, uh, when we first started with this, that because of the way the point was ground down, that it used to be another tool. And it was. It was a, a Phillips screwdriver. Snap-on, part number SSDP31, USA number one. And the patent on it was is two zero one one seven one. So I looked it up, and so it was a uh, Phillips head screwdriver. But it's going to make a good one of these, whatever it is. So that was that one. This look how clear it is turned out really nice that uh plastics is really good stuff does a good job on this plastic it shines like a brand new dollar anyway this one is a part number 241028gwf usa it's also scranton all is what it's called and it's a craftsman. So, that one turned out really nice. Well, here's a little screwdriver. It's a no-name screwdriver. A little stubby. And you can see the finish on the uh, handle. I just really like that. The two-tone. And I left the end of it. I left it a little thin because that's the way I wanted it. I have a special purpose for it, and it takes a little bit thinner blade than, than usual. And so, so here they are, all three of them. And I uh, sure do appreciate you guys watching the channel. Hope you enjoyed the video, and if you would, I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe like and if you want to leave a comment and you know guys we'll uh, see you on the next one